We're live! <laughs> Time to head to the farmer's market. Stop by a local pharmacy real quick. With, real quick. <sighs> I'll put my drink in my backpack and not in my back pocket. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Pardon the noise. There we go. This is really awkward holding a selfie stick. Passed a whole bunch of ragweed earlier. <sighs> Stopped off at Dollar General. Got myself a drink. Flush my eyes out. But apparently that wasn't enough. What's going on here? Uh, <sighs> Farmer's market up ahead. <sighs> They've got some dirt tech. I took some of that. Out of the water, I know it was running. Man, that rag weed messed me up. I don't know how long that light's gonna stay green. But we're gonna wait for the next one. Not in a big hurry today. Yeah, it's changing already. There are these guys go.
Watch out for traffic. Playing traffic, kids. Do it, I do. Get hit by cars. Obviously, don't do that. We're here, but I think they're getting set up. I think we're here. Howdy. Is this the farmer's market? Awesome. Am I too early? No. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I'm live streaming to my family on Facebook. There we go. I'm here to get a bunch of uh, fruits and veg. Well, we've got cucumbers, and we've got zucchini squash, and we've got regular squash, we've got tomatoes, we've got corn, we've got onions, we've got uh, sweet taters down there, and we've got... Well, let me listen to what you got. Just look around and see how you need to Yes, sir. Oh, we got some strawberries here. You guys do uh, jars of uh, jams and jelly still? Yeah, but we ain't got them in yet. You haven't got them in yet, okay. I remember a couple of years ago you guys did. I didn't know if you were still yeah. doing it. Yeah, but they ain't got them in yet. Alright. It's too early. Alright, thank you. I think I'm going to grab one of your strawberries. Uh, one of these here. Actually, $15 bucket? Yeah. I'll get one of the buckets. And I'm out for them, they good. Hmm? I'm out for them, they good. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go good. They'll get a good use later. They not say I know the good stuff, but I eat them. <laughs> Can't eat too many of them and get into the profit. But I do eat some of them. But hopefully out here too. Yeah, I don't have my fishing license yet, so I can't really do the ochre yet. Anything else? Uh, yeah, um, can I get a couple of hands of your bananas?
and we'll go for four bell feathers. Green anyway. What's that sign? I can say they are a peak. I'm sorry? I said, what's that sign? Say they are a peak. Ball. Yeah. Back back. Farmers a six dollar tip. Not much of a tip, but this is a tip. It's for local farmers. My light's still green. Got nobody turning in on me. dark. <laughs> uh, this bag is really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
as you walk and as you move you got to take off layers you got to remove layers or you got to unzip and things like that as well it's cold outside you start to overheat But on this thing sucks. <laughs> Have a better tripod. I can't see the friggin' screen. It's so bright out here. Derelict house. Chimney's intact. I ain't getting inside it. <laughs> okay. Accidentally pressed the power button. How you doing? How are you? I'm all right. Coca-Cola employee. Good people.
This is where I leave you guys. Hello guys. Spent all morning with my hubby. Spent fed my baby fishy. And then I went immediately to the hospital and spent the morning with my hubby. Okay. Things were not good. He's stable now, so that's good. He's being treated. I didn't bring my selfie stick with me. I didn't intentionally. I didn't. I didn't originally intend to live stream. Just say it like that. But here I am, live streaming. Got this truck in my way up ahead. But Daniel. My heavy has gangrene. Here's the story. He had a diabetic ulcer for him a couple of weeks ago. And I tried to get him to go to the wound care center. But he wouldn't want he didn't want to go because there's this asshole doctor. He didn't want to risk running into that doctor. So he waited and waited. Can I go around that machine? I don't know what the hell that thing is. I'm gonna go around it. My allergies are a mess. But I finally got to a point where I'm like, you know what? I can't take care of this dude. This is bad. Like yesterday, I, I take a picture of it, and I'm like, dude, I don't know what to do with this. Cause this is bad. But I take a picture of it, I show it to him. I'm like, this is going the wrong way. I, I don't know what to do with this. You need to go to the hospital. <laughs> and he's hemming and hawing. Like, oh, I don't want to go to the hospital. And he finally decides to get his laptop together and get everything updated and get himself situated to where he can go to the hospital. And thank God he did. Because his diabetic ulcer went from about the size of a dime to about the quarter of his foot within about a week. He got big quick. And I tried to convince him repeatedly to go to the doctor to go to the ER to go to wound care do something I couldn't get him to go finally got him to go to the emergency room he was feeling sick he saw a picture of the end of the wound he was tired of feeling sick throwing up I can't blame him. He's been sick for a long time. It's 
for the past several weeks, he's been unable to keep anything down, really. And I've been using CBD to help keep food down. And it turns out he had to get some special medication because not only did he have gangrene, but he was going through septic shock as well. He was septic. So they had to run a couple of IVs in him and all that stuff. So the prognosis is they're going to... They're going to do some conservative treatment. They're going to give him a bunch of antibiotics. And they're going to do some conservative treatment. They're going to go and uh, do some minor surgery. <sighs> Try to get rid of the dead tissue. Try to get rid of as much of the gangrene. And get rid of as much of the infection from the bone as they can. They don't know if they have to amputate yet. It is on the table. But right now... They're thinking that sometime later this week they're going to send him home with a pick line. And I'm going to have to flush that twice a day with saline and heparin like I did before. And he's going to be on six to eight weeks of antibiotics because of the gangrene. And I hope he's not as sick as he was the last time he had a pick line. The last time he was on an antibiotic on a pick line, it made him so sick. I can't put him through that again. Like as many of you know, yeah, I'm a caregiver. He's bed bound. But I can't do anything if he refuses medical attention. I can't force him to have medical attention. I'll try to go see him tomorrow morning, too. He's stable right now. That's what's important. He was able to eat dinner last night and breakfast this morning. And he was able to keep his food down both times. So that's fantastic. That's something I was super worried about. He's been throwing up so much the last couple of weeks. He's been able to keep food down. It's been hard to get him to seek medical treatment. It's 
like pulling teeth out of a crocodile sometimes. Data. I was hoping it was something less <sighs> I was hoping all they had to do was to to bride the wound and put a wound vacuum on him and send him on his way. So what gets me is he's an amputee already and he's so close to having his independence. He's so close. Now I'm kind of worried about the future, but now I'm less worried knowing about how they're treating them. I hate having to deal with pick lines. But if I have to deal with one, I have to deal with one again. Because they're, stress they're so stressful because it's an, extra it's an additional avenue of introduction of infection. So many things can go wrong with a pick line and an IV if you're not careful. on my street. Let me go ahead and let go. Catch you guys later. We're live. Random motorcyclist. Got done visiting my hubby. That was fun. I visited the Dollar General first and bought a bunch of snacks and drinks for him. And then stopped off at the hospital and visited him for about a half hour. And dropped off the drinks and snacks with him. He can't eat or drink right now. Because of doctor's orders. Because apparently he's going through surgery today at about 3.30. He's losing a good portion of his foot and his fifth toe.
Fortunately, he's going to still be able to walk, so. <clears throat> All they have to cut away is the fifth toe. Thank goodness for that. I gave him a couple of Diet Cokes, a peach water, seltzer water. He loves those things. And I gave him a couple bags of jerky, a thing of sugar-free uh, lemon wafers. He loves lemon. So I gave him lemon. And I have a couple bags of sugar-free candies, chocolate candies. I figure since he's gone through surgery today and he can't eat, and he's gonna be thirsty as hell when he gets up, he'll be able to snack, eat and drink when he gets up. Don't get me wrong, just because I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt out here, it's cold. Yeah, surgery today. I think he said it well the other day, better in there than dead. I agree. I mean, it's sad that he's getting part of his foot amputated, but it's not the end of the world. It'll take them a while to heal. You're gonna put them on a wound vacuum more than likely. <clears throat> I'm gonna set up a uh, things in motion so he just has a little more independence at home he didn't want it originally but there's this pulley system where you can get patients in and out of bed and in the wheelchairs and stuff he didn't want that he didn't want a power chair But he's at the point now where 
it's best if we get the pulley system and a power chair for him. That'd be the quickest way for him to get his independence back again. Look at the woods here. Sometimes I forget to enjoy the beauty of the nature that's around me because of the non-nature that's around me and of the current events that's going on. My mind gets distracted. I'm going to try to support the, my heavy the best I can. I'll take care of him. Setting up my selfie stick one handed. There we go. Visited my hubby for about two hours. He got tired, wanted to lay down, get some sleep. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and book it. I'm glad I didn't wear my jacket this morning. <clears throat> I was thinking about wearing my jacket this morning. This morning I was kind of regretting not wearing my jacket halfway to getting to the hospital because I was cold. <laughs> but now I am boiled. I don't even have my blood pumping really well yet. This walk still suck. <laughs> anyway, my hubby doesn't have his pick line yet. They're probably going to do that. Probably come tomorrow or Monday. So. That's the thing that's going to happen. He saw a social worker, a social worker. The social worker asked if there was anything he needed help with. 
and asked, uh, not asked, but I mentioned that I needed to talk to his PCP, the primary care physician, not the drug, about getting that bed crane lift system thing. Again, I don't know, I don't remember what the hell that thing's called. And the power chair. So I just wanted to make sure that it's notated in their system as well that he needs that. Anyway, he got tired, so he wanted to lay down and rest. So I decided to pack up my backpack and just to go ahead and head home, let him rest. He needs his rest. It is confirmed they're going to send him home with antibiotics and IV antibiotic. So it is confirmed they are going to do a pick line. They just haven't done it yet. And they are going to be doing it in a few days, like Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to be sending him home. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to him being home. I'll take care of him. I haven't been able to go on any camping or bushcraft adventures. I got my own thing going on. Because everything else seems to be coming up. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this here. But first, I'm going to step into the grass over here. So look at that. If that ain't just beautiful. And we're live. Hooray! Needless to say, I got a traffic. The traffic barrier is in a bad spot. Again. Yeah.
Finished my heavy for a couple of hours, about two and a half hours. Seems to be feeling fine. Backpack is so much lighter. I woke up way too early. I'm tired. Uh, we don't know if he's coming home. He has a midline, but he doesn't have a pick line yet. He's supposed to have a pick line before he's sent home. And he doesn't have a pick line. So we don't know if he's being sent home today or not. I hope he is. But if he's not, he'll have a walking home part two. Well, part seven, I guess. You know, I was tempted to walk on the other side of the road. But the shoulder on this side of the road is much wider. Despite barriers bringing vehicles closer to the shoulder of the road, chilly this morning. It is hot now. Holy cow. Feels nice in the shade, but once you get to the sun. Whoo! About 50% humidity, too. That heat sticks to you. Yeah, I was going to walk on the other side of the road, but the shoulder is not nearly as wide as it is here. It's not as safe. If I get up to the pasture up here, if there's cows up there, I'll cross the street and I'll stream the cows. Looks like my neighbor's doing some work on their homestead. I ain't gonna bother him. I don't see any cows up there in the pasture. It's a big pasture. Sometimes there's cows up there, sometimes there's not.
I one time went out to go check the mail, and there was this random cow just sitting there. That was fun. seeing any cows. Step over here into the grass. Right there. Right there you should see cows, but there's no cows. No moo moos. Sad face. I don't have much else to say. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off. Cool, I'm live. I was curious about what I'm saying, what I mean by saying live. I'm streaming on Facebook. Stream on Facebook and download the video and then I upload it to YouTube. <sighs> if I did my heavy for a couple more hours today, about two and a half hours. I'm stuck in the hospital yet another day. Fortunately. I don't think he's coming home again. Not today. They still don't have the vacuum or the wound vacuum ordered, and they still don't have them with the pick lines. So. Yeah, I don't think it's coming home today. The weather's supposed to be nasty tomorrow. I can't walk in the rain because I got hearing aids. But incidentally, the traffic isn't right next to me. They got the traffic uh, laying against away from me this time. That's not bad. Rather hot today too. I woke up way too early this morning.
funny thing is, I heard from uh, my hubby yesterday that the doctor is trying to send him to physical rehab. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> Go home. Doing that will screw yourself. Your prosthetist has plans for your physical rehab, your physical therapy. And if the hospital sends you to physical rehab, it kind of screws you. There's a plan in place and we're working towards that plan. And if the hospital decides to send them to a rehab, they screw that benefit. He can't use it again until the following year, until 2025. I'm not seeing any cows again. I was hoping to see some cows up here for you guys. Have a look in the woods. Enjoy the nature. Isn't that pretty? You can see the pasture there. No cows. Anyway, I got a ways to go, so.